Hello Virgo, welcome back to Fifi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all doing amazing, fabulous, great. <laughs> For those that are new to my channel, a very, very warm welcome. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. For those that are returning, a massive, massive welcome, welcome <laughs> and thank you. Um, in fact, everyone that's watching this, I value everyone's time. So I do thank you um, for watching your reading. Virgo, this is your general love reading. So let's get straight into it. Let's focus. What is next for you in love? So whatever the cards want to explore for the collective, let's clear the deck. I will be exploring all of this and I'll also be clarifying the cards for you. My lovely Virgos, what is next for you in love? Here we go. Let's see. Let's explore all of this for you. Um, and also, Virgo, your bonus um, reading is up as well. So do check that out. Um, I just uploaded it on YouTube. So in other words, you get two readings this week, <laughs> which is fantastic. Um, and if you want to access your uh, bonus reading, it's in your dedicated playlist um, on my channel. But it's also the link is in the description box below, Virgo. Um, it's the first link underneath all the yellow stars. If you click on it, it'll take you straight to your bonus reading. And of course, 100% free, just in case. <laughs> just wanting to know that. <laughs> all right, here we go. So Virgo, what is next for you in love? What are the new insights, changes, challenges, anything as a heads up? Let's see. Two more. Ooh, we've got a highlighted message there for you. And, well, no, I was going to grab it, but no, they said no. All right. It is, so my apologies if you hear some kind of, it sounds like white noise in the background. It's, um, it's raining pretty bad where I am at the moment. So if you do hear some muffled noise behind me, that is just the rain. All right, Virgo, so you've got your highlighted message here. They don't always happen, but what is it that spirit wants you to know? Uh, oh, it's you. <laughs> there we go. The hermit, Virgo energy. Perhaps you're also dealing with someone that's also Virgo, could be strong in their chart. It seems here, Virgo, just from um, the get-go, this is the wise sage, right? A lot of you could be doing, well, whether you realize it or not, a bit of self-imposed isolation. In other words, you probably go to work or you go to the gym or you come straight back home. Usually this happens when we're feeling a little bit overstimulated here as well. But sometimes, which a lot of people don't know, the hermit is saying, well, there are forces around you that are kind of forcing yourself at the moment to kind of be alone. There's a reason why. Um, this is all about self-reflection. It's about going within. It's about, well, looking within. It's soul searching here. Um, it's also looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking, okay, what is it that I want now? I've been putting everyone else first, but what about me? Now, what about number one, Virgo? Um, now, as the wise sage, recently you may have noticed that you have learned some pretty big lessons and you have really, well, spiritual lessons, you've really grown up here. There are a lot of things that have happened in your life, Virgo, that you know, there's no way you're ever going to repeat it again. But let's get straight into it. What else do we have? Hmm. You're chewing on something that's going to be coming your way. The Eight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. This is the fastest, the absolute second fastest, sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the second fastest moving energy in the deck. The first one being the Chariot ruled by Cancer. Now, you may be receiving messages from abroad. It doesn't have to be though, but you are going to be chewing on the idea of what do I do with these messages? Now, someone could be unexpectedly calling you, messaging you, texting, emailing you, FaceTime, whatever it is. It's almost like, okay, how am I going to respond to this? This is known as um, love messages. Cupid's arrow. So what's the message about? Nine of swords. Gemini energy. Okay, there is something that someone has done to you. They may have said something, they may have done something, how they conducted themselves, and they're not too proud. This is like major rejection right here. In fact, the person is thinking about you a lot, especially at night. This is often linked with anxiety, that nervous energy here. You know, you feel it in your chest and your stomach, if not depression, weird dreams slash nightmares here. Um, but someone is, and this is often linked to guilt seeks punishment. So whoever's thinking about you that wants to message you about something that they're regretful about, they're not really treating themselves very good here. And they're waiting for the right moment though. Three of Wands, again, showing you some distance here, Aries energy. See, it almost feels, Virgo, that your person is actually waiting for you as well to you know, message them. But they're like, okay, Virgo's not reaching out. They've completely gone off the grid, so I'm gonna message them. Mm. Yeah, see, they're waiting for the sign. They're waiting for like metaphorically the ship to come in. Um, and it's definitely, I mean, honestly, Virgo, if you're waiting for your person to reach out, so let's flip it. If you're waiting for them to reach out, they're going to do it. They're just, 
I don't know. They're, they're, it, I feel here it's like, you know, when someone says, oh, this guilt is eating me up inside. Literally, that's what your person is saying to themselves. Yeah, so we've got the Seven of Cups. This is a Scorpio energy. There might have been some commitment issues in the past. Something happened where your person made you feel like an option, that you were not the priority. Um, and in fact, maybe your person was really spoiled by choice in the form of opportunities here. I do see that there's a, just a little bit of emotional confusion here now. It's like, do I accept this cup with the Queen of um, Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces? Do I accept it? Do I not? So, you know, you may be kind of feeling a little bit imbalanced where it's like, oh, you know, my head's up in the clouds. And I think, you know, the Hermit is telling you, the Wise Sage is saying, we have to ground ourselves. We have to make a decision here just for more peace of mind. Yeah, there's definitely an apology coming your way. Could be dealing with the water sign here. It doesn't have to be, but um, this is unseen. This is what's simmering um, underneath. So let's get into your main reading. What do we have? We have the Six of Swords, again, showing more distance here between you and your person. Now, if it's not a long distance connection, I feel like they're feeling that emotional distance. Like I said, you've gone off the grid and I'm kind of feeling here that they don't feel your energy anymore. You're not calling them anymore. You're not chasing them. Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. It seems here that you're just really on the verge of moving on now. Um, with or without them, you're good here, Virgo. But I see that your person wants to move into karma waters with you. And I say that because sixes are all about reinstating that healing as well. Um, and definitely you have accepted those lessons. You have really grown compared to your person. Like you've just like, shh, you've grown and they're probably still stuck uh, probably around here. We've got the moon, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Mm, the moon. So the moon is talking about your intuition here as well. Your intuition was probably telling you something wasn't adding up here in the past. Um, and now it's like, yeah, my intuition, everything's confirmed. I knew I was right about something because this talks about perhaps some lies, some secrets, could also show a secret love affair, things that are hidden, unseen, that's happening in the dark. Um, and you were not aware of it. Perhaps you were the last person to find out. Either way here, I would not be surprised if they do contact you within the next full moon. So yeah, if, you know, we do have a bit of internal fears and anxieties about perhaps opening up ourselves to this person again. Um, but emotions are running very high as well. Mm. Five of Wands, Leo energy. This is a clash. Everyone's arguing here. There couldn't have been competition here for your person's attention. And whoever did that, well, it seems like they won, but are, clearly they didn't. Or else why is your person coming back here to reconcile? Yeah, so I think things did not end on a very good note. It ended on a very sour note. You know, we have conflict, tension, arguments, finger pointing, like I did this. How could you have done that to me as well? Um, so I'm kind of feeling here that I think you know that your person is going to be dancing around this very slowly because this could erupt into another argument. In fact, you know, I almost feel that you fear that you're going to get emotionally triggered by this person and you don't want to revisit that again. Yes, yeah, we've got the tower, Scorpio energy. Mm, I think you're trying to move on from this. You really want to. You want to be more... I just want peace now. I want to go into the lake of tranquility. You are definitely blindsided here. This is the destruction of the old foundations now um, and it's building up now a stronger tower, better than ever. Um, but this is like a major upheaval. Clearly you were blindsided. I'm seeing here that perhaps if your person ended this, it was very abrupt. It was very cold. Um, and yes, you were blindsided. The beating heart of your reading here is a nine of wands, Sagittarius energy. So this person left you feeling very defeated deflated almost, tired as well of just going through this, it almost feels like just going through this cycle of disappointment um, from this person or even past relationships. Now that is the wounded warrior ruled by Sagittarius. The wounded warrior does not give up. So certainly there's a part of your person that's not giving up, hence why they're coming back. Um, but I see here that you're not really giving up on yourself, on life, on the idea of love. Mm. There could be gossip as well. The Nine of Wands does come with a lot of gossip. Two of Swords, Libra energy. Yeah, you, I feel here, you you know, there is emotional confusion, mental confusion. You're trying to be logical about this. It's like, do I even want to be friends with this person? It shows you that there's a hard decision that you have to make. I mean, at least you'll see it as a bit of a difficult decision. Do I close the door on this person permanently? Uh, do I even respond to them? Because I'm seeing here, you really don't know even how to respond to that Eight of Wands and the Seven of Cups here. Um, so there could be a little bit of a war between, you know, your mind and your heart here. Um, but decisions are going to have to be made. Mm, I don't think you'll answer this person straight away. The chariot. Now you've got the fastest energy in the entire deck ruled by cancer. 
Um, yeah, I think even if your person is at a distance, I do see them here kind of trying to meet you in the middle or surprise you. That could be another big surprise. I don't know if you'll like that because I just got Virgo. I think for the majority of you, you probably don't like surprises like this. Um, I don't know if I would, to be honest, just having this person show up at your door. I don't know. Or it's like calling you. I'm in town. <laughs> You're like, what? <laughs> I need to process this still. This is all about that self-determination that your person has. They do. It's like they've got that tunnel vision that they want this to work. They want this to be victorious here. Mm, I think they're going to be in for a big surprise here because I don't feel that you're going to say yes to them, at least straight away. What do we have in the near future? We have you, the nine of Pen Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. I see you perhaps wanting to take this very slow. Your person is rushing and saying, okay, we're talking. Let's, let's get the ball rolling. Let's commit to each other once more. And you're like, oh, hang on a second. Let's take it slow. I do see that they're going to offer you something quite solid, a change here as well. I mean, listen, perhaps they have grown up here and they're also embodying the hermit um, energy. But I see here as a form of protection because your guard is very up here and you're very discerning who, who you allow back into your circle, into your home, into your life. You're going to be taking this very slow. I think that's very smart, Virgo. What do we have in the near future for you? So if you do decide to at least start talking to your person or um, you do want to reconcile, be friends, move forward together, what's the outcome? The most probable outcome here is the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. So you will be getting some clarity. This is a breakthrough. It talks about starting again, fresh new beginnings on a clean slate, not repeating the same mistakes from the past. And this also, it cuts away through any confusion, assumptions, if there was lack of clarity here, um, it cuts through all of that. So it seems here that you may be entertaining the thoughts, um, Virgo, after taking it slow and communicating um, to perhaps even give this person another chance or at least just starting off as friends. Let's see. Slow and steady. I'm hearing that. Slow and steady. Let's clarify these cards for you. Virgo, please. And their person. What else is next in love for them? Oh, all right. We've got two highlighted cards. Two more. Last one. Wow. The King of Cups and the Nine of Wands. So we got Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, more Sag energy. I feel here that your person is, well, they're feeling exactly the same like you are. They're feeling, even though, the, and don't get me wrong, the, the love and the emotions are there, but they're also feeling quite defeated and deflated. Probably they're worried here that you're going to reject them or they cannot get to the place where they want to. And I feel here there could also be regret here that either they didn't commit to you when they had the chance, they didn't fully express what was in their hearts and it kind of just led them to being viewed by you as someone wishy-washy unstable but they're certainly not giving up on you so you could be mirroring each other here to a certain degree we have the king of pentacles there you are that's taurus virgo energy you could be dealing with a taurus or a capricorn here mm. yeah i'm seeing here that there was lack of commitment you were ready to commit to this person absolutely but they uh, there was something here there was emotional confusion maybe they weren't ready they're making up excuses for the why they didn't commit to you though but now they're feeling quite regretful about this the high priestess another intuitive card pisces energy um and the six of pentacles taurus energy yeah there definitely couldn't have been a lack of equal give and take definitely a person was probably giving their attention to someone else or something or someone else something or someone else over you the high priestess shows that perhaps your person was not being entirely honest with their feelings um they definitely you know even if they weren't ready they shouldn't have been honest and they weren't so this is a card of mystery of secrets and they're all going to be revealed to you hence why we have the clarity card in the outcome definitely be, use your intuition remember that you are always being represented as the hermit the wise sage um so it's in your person's best interest to not come back to you with any bs or any lies because the high priestess is she or he who already knows. So your intuition is spot on. In fact, they're probably going to confirm a lot of what your intuition has been telling you. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Emperor. Yeah. This is a major here for Aries. I'm kind of picking up this is your energy. 
that you will be taking action. That is, after all, all the kings wrapped up into one. And I'm seeing here that you're going to take ownership, leadership of your own life. So either if they come back correctly and they, you know, things go slowly, you will definitely move on into karma waters with them or you are just going to move on on your own. So they are skating on an incredibly paper thin ice here with you. But either way, your person is also going to be taking action here. That is a divine masculine. For some of you, they definitely could have been children involved, maybe met this person through work, um, studies, something to do with your finances as well. The moon is clarified by the wheel of fortune. Wow. So we've got Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo energy here. It, I'm actually, all the star signs are here, by the way. Um, but it seems here that um, they actually want to make these positive changes. They will be initiating these positive changes to get out of that moon energy. It is a card of destiny, divine timing. So, okay, I will give it to them. They will be putting in a lot of action to get the wheel turning, to provide now these positive changes in your life. So it's all basically to win you back though. But let's talk about the five of wands is the four of swords. Libra energy. Mm. I have a feeling here this probably left you almost mentally exhausted. You may find yourself quite tired. You might even feel like, you know, I just want to be an introvert for the rest of the month. I really don't want to talk to people. This is about rest, recuperation. It's a form of protection as well against that five of wands. It's also saying here that, you know, you, you know that you need your mental energy for this to make a decision and get that clarity. But I'm also seeing that your person may be gathering their thoughts. Um, they're kind of planning about what to say about this ending with that five of wands. So there may have been that one argument um, that pretty much ended this as well. I'm getting this is all your person's doing though. The tower is clarified by the star. Okay, this is the ultimate card of healing ruled by Aquarius. This is a wish fulfillment. It's healing. It's about faith, hope, faith and renewal. Wow, and faith pays Faith pays very generous dividends. I feel here that there is hope here. There is hope here to overcome and heal the destruction of that tower. Yep. Wow. All right, so there is hope yet. And the Nine of Wands is clarified by the Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. Wow. Okay, so we've got, this card always comes with healing. The Three of Cups is about reconciliation. In fact, I'm seeing now that perhaps you may want to entertain this idea of at least talking to them as friends. Like the Three and the Six of Cups for me are friendship cards. It's a very sociable card. It's going out. And I think by doing that, taking it one, you know, one week at a time or one day at a time here, it's, um, I think it's guaranteed to lead into something a bit more serious now. There could have been issues also with a third party. Could even be a meddling friend or a co-worker. Whatever this third party represents, this driving force, this wedge, it's going to be different for all of you, Virgo. And I think your suspicions, your intuition was telling you, oh, I think that person had something to do with this as well. Um, I'm just getting here that there was someone that was very meddling, like they wouldn't mind their own business. They would just kept asking your person, oh, what about Virgo? What are you going to do with Virgo, for example? Um, so yeah, hmm. I feel like that person's almost like an energy vampire. They just literally drain your energy and it leaves you feeling exhausted here as well. But we're definitely having in the beating heart here. Um, and this can represent mutual energies, um, a, a reconciliation. That two of swords is clarified by the six of cups. So I did say the three and the six is my friendship card, social card, Scorpio energy. So you yeah, see, you're still in two minds about whether you want to reconcile with this person. Definitely could be children involved here, I'm seeing. We're also seeing a past life connection. I'm, I'm honestly seeing here that the only way to heal this is to first start off as friends. Absolutely, that is the path to healing. Mm -hmm. Blast from the past. Yeah, and you, it's like, do I really want this reconciliation here? Do I really want to you know, entertain this person once more though? But they're still coming back though. The chariot is clarified by the devil. Capricorn energy. So this is the card of extremes. It's the card of too much of something. It's the complete opposite of temperance ruled by Sagittarius. So it is the card of temptation. So I'm wondering here, was your person tempted here by a third party? Or were they tempted, if it wasn't infidelity, you know, were they tempted just to listen to that third party, to have their back, to defend them? And this ultimately led to some kind of confrontation. Everybody went their separate ways here. Also, what I'm getting with the chariot is that there is a lot of tunnel vision and obsession here. 
It's that determination which does border on obsession is that they want this to be successful. Virgo, the truth is they do want to win you back. But they also, I'm seeing here there's also healing of their shadow side. So if your person indeed was doing like self-medication, um, if there was any dependencies here over drinking, anything that was really just making their energy a lot more darker and heavier they will they are overcoming this they're actually moving away from it because the chariot is about moving forward and so is the wheel of fortune the knight of pentacles is clarified by the knight of cups mm. so we've got messages changes here of the you know it, it's almost like they want to provide you now with something valuable you know it's like security stability we've got apologies here and it's almost like they want to respark this romance though and they will be doing it there is a reconciliation but the cards are definitely saying to take it slow and this is a form more of self-protection and more confidence where you think now i can move forward i feel confident taking it to the next level and all these cups here do represent love and emotions for you. The Ace of Swords is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Capricorn energy, but this could also be your energy, Virgo and Taurus. I'm seeing face-to-face -face communication here. It's almost like they want to see you face-to-face. -face. They know that's the right thing to do, and that's how you'll be getting your clarity. And there you are, the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is, again, have, it's having it all with this person. Yeah, I think that's. I think in due time, this is definitely going to happen. It is security, stability, commitment here slash marriage. It's having it all, the home life, the dream. You know, I think your person is realizing, geez, I couldn't have had it all. I actually had it all with Virgo. And I think you can go there once more. With time, with patience, with healing, you can definitely have it all. Page of Swords, yeah, they're going to tell you the truth. In the meantime, they are watching you. Yeah, look at that. They're afraid that there's going to be an argument, see? One more. Yeah, there's the three of wands. You're getting repeat cards. Get ready, Virgo. They're going to be reaching out to you. I always like to just go a little bit more deeper into the outcome, but it's looking quite favorable. But I'm seeing that this is going to be a process, Virgo. And you are a patient person. I don't see your person, person, I can't even talk. I don't really see your person as like super patient, but they will be patient here for you. And this will ultimately lead to a lot of healing here as well. So Virgo, I will leave this here. I wish you the very best. Um, and do check out your bonus reading. It is in the description box below or in your dedicated playlist. And I will see you in the next couple of days. And I thank you for your time, Virgo. Take care. Bye.